So in this experiment, I'm going to react some calcium with water. So I've got some water with some universal indicator. Again, the indicator is green, showing that the water is neutral. I've got in this pot here some granulated calcium. So the calcium there, um, like a metal, it is a metal, um, so you can see the grey of it. Um, and as I pop a couple of bits into water, we'll see what happens. So you'll notice first of all that the calcium sinks to the bottom. As it goes into the beaker, it starts fizzing. Um, so it's producing a gas, it's producing hydrogen gas. Um, it's also producing calcium hydroxide, so you can see the indicator colour changing there from green to purple. The other thing that you'll notice in there is that because calcium hydroxide is not very soluble, the mixture is going quite cloudy as well as it reacts. Um, some of that calcium is um, also starting to float, um, so it's moving up and down. That's because the calcium gets covered with hydrogen gas and that gas is less dense in the water, so um, it starts to float up in the beaker and that calcium, as it gets to the surface, the hydrogen escapes and the, the calcium will sink again down to the bottom. So compared to the magnesium, the calcium reacts um, much more vigorously.